Hello guys, uh, Jimmy here, and what the hell am I doing? It is 20 past 3 in the morning, and I'm about to start for a uh, 25 lap race in the NASCAR C-Class Fit Series at Daytona. Cookie cutter, so lots of pushing, lots of shoving, and hopefully a decent result. Um, I haven't done a recorded oval race for a long time because, frankly, they tend to bore me, but I am lacking sleep at the moment, so... Anything to send me to sleep is well welcomed, and hopefully <laughs> uh, it won't be too bad for you guys. Obviously, you have to watch it, so it won't be that boring. Fingers crossed, anyway. Um, I'm not sure if this is first time, it's no second time using the decent mic on the channel, so uh, hopefully that will be nice. Hope you won't get too much wheel movement in there. I know the wheel is quite creaky using the GTE rim. I think it's a little bit too small for this, but uh, gotta do what we gotta do. and. Uh, It'll be good to try and find a partner to start with. I'm not sure. I've got my chat off, so I don't really want to hear anyone racing. I was going to use the people around me. I'm pretty sure I don't have in-car chat in real life with each driver, so I'm going to try and avoid doing that because it's just... Pleh. Plus, in these races, people tend to get very heated, and it's just a bit boring to see everyone shout at each other and uh, discuss how they've treated their mothers. <laughs> so uh, I'll probably leave that to them. Uh, tomorrow, today... What day is it? Today... Later on today is the VEC broadcast of Long Beach, 2 hours 45 minutes, uh, presented by myself and Mr Malone, that will be on my Twitch channel. Hopefully this will be uploaded before then, if not then I've obviously fallen asleep before I had the chance to upload it. And I'll stick a link to the Twitch uh, description, uh, the Twitch thing below, let me just very quickly quit my Skype, it'll be sound for a second there, it's gone now. Um, so you guys can watch that. This race is either going to be very long or very short, and you'll know already from the video length. I say that in a lot of races, but I'm not very confident of finishing. Uh, we'll start in second gear. I'm not going to start in first. First tends to be a bit faster if you get it right, but it's very risky, so second gear is easy. I'm starting in the back anyway, so there's no point in me getting involved in a massive scrum right at the start of the race. Just let it kind of unfold, slow down as a wreck, and just try and avoid it. This 18 cars very seems very eager though to. Uh, shove someone off the track already, so we'll uh, let him do that. Wait for that green, I'm going to have to wait for the guy in front of me to go. Uh, there you go. There's no point going on green if the guy in front of you isn't moving because you're just going to end up going right into the back of someone. I should have turned off my spotter for this, he's going to go nuts in this race. I see, I need spotters forever, don't you? Jimmy, you're learning. Spot it for oval is a good thing. <laughs> oh, I'm getting sandwiched already. Jimmy's scared. Having to let off the throttle because I'm getting too close to this guy in front. I see a blinker up top, so now I'm worrying about there being a crash in front of me. Got these guys are uh, going quite wide. I think they're just. It's number nine is being patient, it seems, so I'll let him do that. So he's going to let me through. I think he's kind of waiting for the wreck to happen. Um, these truck races seem to be kind of notorious for how dirty they are. We'll see though. We've got a number 15 car behind the table. We're going to give us a little bit of a, of a nudge. Just so we get back onto the back of that pack. Well, if he can get close enough anyway, hopefully he'll get here soon. Try not to nudge through the corners, I find. Uh, and that's how he gave me a little bit of a push there. I don't really like it. The car gets a little bit unstable. It's not too nice to do. Keep him alive. What's that? Who's that on the... He's going to come in. An eight car. We'll just go around him. He's lost a lot of speed, so... I'm not quite sure. He must have got pushed by a car coming off the exit. I will call them cars. I know they're trucks, but... Uh, old habits. Being pushed through the turns again. Not really liking that. if we pushed him but we had the momentum so I thought I'd try and take it past him and he can push me. Car's dropping out. Okay well he's gonna we'll just let him through and we'll push him next time we come round that makes sense doesn't it? He's behind us now. 15 this is the guy pushing before. It's all about pushing on these cookie cutters uh, as they call them. You can't get anywhere near the front without someone helping you out. Just like that. Just set off a tiny bit for the corner. 
I don't want to push him through the corner because I can potentially cause a wreck and, and mine in his race. So I kind of try and time it right so I get right into the back and coming out of the corner. Again, just like that. We're pushing all the way down this here. It's backing off a little bit and we're going over the, uh, the triangle. And then just off a tiny bit again so you can get away. You see we're coming up to the back of that red, that red truck in front now. That number seven truck. But I kind of timed that a little bit badly that time. Pretty nice and clean so far. Uh, it's famous last words I know, so expect the wreck to come now. I didn't give a push at all on that straight, that was bad. I lost out too much, but we are quite close now to the guys in front. Some people going two by two up front though. Not everyone else seems to be in a straight line. I can't really afford to fall back. See, that's, that's what happened to that Paul Mulrain behind me. He's, he's fallen back. And now he's uh, kind of lost the draft. I need to make sure I stay with it. Might have to, I think I'm a bit closer now. I'll be able to give him a push off the corner, hopefully. And we can start moving up a little bit. Obviously, I'm a over racing amateur as it goes. Road racing is where I feel more comfortable. And normally the cars I enjoy racing are probably the furthest from this, these cars as possible. Very high downforce, very sophisticated Formula One cars. Come on. I didn't want to do that, but we'll follow him through, come on. Very hard to kind of, in the, this is where I would love to have free screens, I can't see a thing in my peripheral vision, I don't want to look down at them. Concentrating so hard keeping my line. I don't want to touch anyone, that 16 car. I swear he touched him then. Trying to push, you see that, see that we get the momentum, we push past. The way it works, bump draft, is that I'm getting the draft from the guy in front and I push him and he's still uh, my slipstream, my faster speed is pushing him along literally. But we're stuck on the outside now, I don't really want to be here. Feels quite um, vulnerable. I know that's a good time or not, I assume it is. It's like we're now getting in line, falling in line behind this. Uh, he wants to go wide, I'll try and go out with him. Truck flying off to the left there, I think he'd go a little bit wide. And we've a lot of cars lost momentum there, and we've had that chance to push forward, which is good. Can't really fall down because that 10 car is going to take it. I'm going to have to come out. Can't work with 14, come out. There you go. Now we'll move forward some more, hopefully. Try my best not to go any further down. Stuck to the back of this guy. Absolutely glued to the back of him. We're making it work at the moment. Making it work very well. Now at the head of the field, pretty much. We seem to really lose that speed coming off the kerb. But here we go, here's where we have our speed. Nice and there. Uh, 
it's watching my water meter though, you see it blinking sometimes, I have to come out for air or I uh, get murdered. I can't really let that guy know, I've got my voice chat off, this is where voice chat kind of comes in handy a bit, but... He's weaving about everywhere. This guy, I think, also trying to weave about a little bit, trying to get some air maybe. I'm just trying to get around the guy in front, and now we've lost a bit of speed, now we're going to lose... Okay, this is bad. We've lost our our friend. He's abandoned us. Try and slot in here then. Big push come off that corner, that was a bit risky by me there. I can feel that we've run into that guy in front. Oh god, this is going to be tight. Please don't do this. That guy definitely saying I'm coming through. That's my fault for thinking about coming down. I'm up top of my friend again. And this is close racing. I'm surprised at how... Oh, that's a lapped car. That's, com that's complicated. How close this racing is. I'm very surprised and really enjoying it at the moment, actually. Let's try and make sure I don't hit anyone. These... They've been wiggling about quite a lot. I don't know if it's the uh, internet or not, or the, uh, the net code, or whatever the hell it is. It's uh, making life a little bit tricky. Now we're up top again. Pump. See like we're all the, how similar everyone is on speed. I guess that's the speed ray racing or super speed ray racing as they call it. Just flat on the front all the way around, all about strategy, all about placing your car in the right place, and right now we are seventh. But at some point we were fine being seventh until the last lap, then we have to start thinking about what we're going to do. He's coming out for air. They wrecked, I turned to try and avoid it, I hit someone. Don't hit that wall, don't hit that wall, don't hit that wall. I think we're okay, I think our car's okay. We do have car contact, but I don't think we're actually damaged. I don't think we are anyway. We'll find out in a second. Do we pit for tyres though? That's the thing. I think the, I think the car's okay. I've got to stay behind this free car now. Because I spun. stay behind these cars that are basically uh, messed up so I'm going to stay high and just let the uh, let them cook themselves and I guess that I will uh, come back to you guys after the caution's finished Well, just spoke good green again and decided not to take tyres for my stop. I don't think I need to really. Um, there's not much you really lose time wise around here, I, I think. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong because I'm an overall novice. Uh, by having slightly worn tyres and being close to the front, I think it's probably better at the moment. 
seeing as we have, I think, eight maps to go. Come across that. Everyone seems to be very aggressive on the restart. I'm not quite sure why. Look how close everyone's getting. There's, there's some guy was weaving, trying to warm his tyres. Doesn't do anything. It just causes him danger. It's, uh, but now I really want an RB. So that's good. Alright, so just going to watch that guy on the inside. Look at that 18 car. What is he doing? He's in first gear. And he's disappeared now. Great. Straight on the back of this guy in front, this number one car, I think it is. So now I need to kind of find a new partner to work with. Um, my one's gone now. Hopefully, the guy behind me will uh, will help me out, Mr. Gilmore. Not Mr. Gilmore, I don't even know anymore. Someone behind me. There he goes, give me a push now. Everyone sort of shuffled out there and they decided where they were going to go at the last minute and everyone slowed down on the straight. It's not the way I would do things, but what do I know, eh? Pushing through that corner again. And it's uh, not a good decision. I'm now actually... Yeah, okay, we mean this guy. There's a guy, there's two guys in front of us. I couldn't see from him there. I thought there was only... Uh, this guy's weaving a lot, making my job very difficult. Come on, stay straight. Try and give him a push. Really? Come on, dude. Get down. Well, they want me to go past or something, but I just can't stay with. I can't stay in that point. I move down then. It's gonna have to be the way we do it because these guys are starting to pull away. Come on. Six car, get in the back of me, give me a bump. Oh, he's very tentative. Come on, bigger than that. Give me a big old kick up the arse, can't we, to get out of there. Sitting in sixth now. Trying to take any draft I can from the guy in front, but I'm not going to do it. I need this guy really to push me. Go. Right behind us. Try and stay. I'm going to come back on track, so we're going to get yellow probably. Um, trying to stay in my position. No. Come on. No. He needs to get up, he needs to push him. They're getting away. Come on. Oh no, I'm going to be left dead now. I haven't got a partner. These guys don't go about me. Might not be done just yet though. Back behind us to help me out, come on. Watch dog eat dog. We're gonna go Let's pick up someone and run. Came down a bit too much there. Come on, uh, no. We need to take that bottom line then, but we'll stay up here. couple of laps to go now, we're going to lose out to the guys behind us. Well, I didn't see that lap car at all. It shows you what you can and can't see when you're this close behind a car.
Oh, we want to get past this guy. Come on. Oh, I've, oh, I've been, I've been dumped. That's how it goes sometimes. I'm now going to fall back. God, how annoying. Oh well. Now that guy on the right has been dumped, maybe I can get him to the back of them? I don't know, I don't think I can, I think I'm too far back now. He's going to just fall into the back of the guy in front of us anyway, there you go. Well, I think we're going to be coming ninth now, this is a wreck, we can't really do anything from here. The guy behind me is too far behind for me to do anything, I've just been left behind. Um, maybe I should have talked about working with someone at the start, maybe I shouldn't have done. But I, I went for the full sim experience, which is pretty much radio silence, apart from my spotter. You don't pick up the phone and talk to the other drivers mid-race. That wouldn't go too well. Although we might see some sort of big crash. Who's this at the top? Jason, you're gonna work on me, mate. Whether you like it or not. He's just jamming his brakes on. Oh well, we're coming live guys. Not a bad result for us, I guess. Considering, you know, um, you know, we are an oval driver. Um, I seem to always end up getting dumped in these races. I get scorned. I'm a scorned lover. But uh, I'm pretty happy with them. I'm some pretty cool close racing, and uh, I tend to up being shuffled really out of the pack well. at the end. It happens, it happens. Um, not a bad race at all, though. Um, some pretty decent driving from people around me. I didn't see a couple of wrecks. I might have a quick look and see what happened in the the replay to the guys ahead of me when they crashed, but uh, I'll race pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to try and upload this before tomorrow, so guys, there'll be a, a, VEC re a VEC race today. It's at Long Beach. I'll put the link in the description for Twitch. Come check it out. It's going to be awesome. I have a big crowd in there, so it'll be nice for you guys to come along as well. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will uh, catch you next time. See you later.